good morning everyone and welcome all to this session of application of flywheel in punching machine how it is used okay we will first uh, we will see one of the animation and then we will move on to the one question so that how we will design with the help of energy how the flywheel is designed that thing we will see in the today's class okay this is a very important class so please watch till the end okay students yes let me start see uh, see this is what the flywheel right i already explained you this is the flywheel okay and <coughs> we will see in the, the application part see i will animate this video and i will show you how this works see whether it is audible sound for you guys yeah let me run from the first yeah this videos i taken from learn and grow from the youtube channel okay see the principle of the mechanical press that is how the flywheels are used in this this is telling okay see the here it is a base okay the bolster plate on the base the bolster uh, bolster bolster plate is attached on the base plate and uh, the next is this is the crank shaft which will rotate see here it is a flywheel which is connected to the load of the crank shaft for maintaining flywheel fluctuation of load there is a brake for providing braking system through the process there is a connecting rod the flywheel is connecting to this uh, this uh, work, uh, this spindle here okay and uh, this uh, piston and uh, this uh, uh, the both this connecting rod and piston are a single link and the see in order to pressing suppose i have put a sheet metal thickness of this i have to made like this what i will do first i will put a straight sheet like this and on the die i will insert one uh, Uh, punch here uh, or else i will insert a punch like this yes now this shape will be formed see right i will get shape after this and for the as see the cutting stroke is very less this is not the direction but the flywheel the cutting stroke is total this much length is the cutting stroke but actually my operation is getting in this much length only right this is what the difference here i need to uh, tell you and with the help of the one of the problem we will see how this the energy related with and this and how this happens and how to design the weight of this flywheel we will see the design of design of flywheel okay this is what the first video i have introduced in this okay let me i will stop this video okay okay we will see the question directly from that see the punch uh, a punch machine is required to punch uh, 720 holes the given is that first let me write what the given the punch machine as see i have shown that punch i can use that machine as a punch machine also in that machine see in that machine you have to put just the dies and punches you have to put right see here what i'll do on this on this portion i'll put a punch like this okay if i want a hole on this i will insert one die over here here on the bottom on this bolster plate i will install one die and i will make one hole for this die like this how it works okay now a punch press is required to punch 720 holes right per hour means see the 720 holes per hour it is what the requirement first i will write 720 holes the diameter of that holes are also given per hour it is required right means per second how much i will calculate first that is 3 3600 in right means it is a second means means for one hole right the one hole how much i'll get 5 seconds in 5 seconds i will get the one hole this thing i will calculate from this given information for one hole the time period here they are see here we have two times which those are two times one is see the stroke length uh, this is what the first time okay this is what the total time of the stroke total time stroke 
and the pressing time is only this much among from the this is total is 5 second just we have calculated and this much which the stroke is happening this is what the very less that thing also we will see means we have to calculate means the cycle time here is cycle time equal to is 5 seconds okay this is what the cycle time uh, so let me first see the cycle time means from here the ram is coming from here to reach again it's going back this is what the cycle time this is of 5 seconds okay uh, now the actual punching time we will calculate from this actual actual punching time see this is what the stroke length from here it is coming right it is idle up to here and at, at a certain distance it comes and then this is what the actual punching time we are calculating here actual punching time the actual see this is for one cycle this is one cycle is for five seconds right and this again going back this is what the five seconds again going back five seconds right means it is one by ten second the actual time is one by ten second five plus five that is ten okay means uh, point one sec uh, point one second which is the actual punching time here point one second see here it requires 7 newton meter of energy of sheared area if the punching operation takes this is what the given our actual punching time to us okay this is the cycle time 5 second I think you no need to add this the cycle time means from coming to here right sorry for that I have done I think I have done mistake over here this is what the cycle time is 5 second and the actual punching time this is given already that is 0.1 second means among from point five, this is point one second is a punching here this much distance it will cover in order to punch means in order to punch one hole the punching actual punching time is point one second up till up to now you understand okay now see we what we got we, we have got two times that is t time cycle time that is five second five second and and the T for actual time that is uh, actual punching time time for punch is equal to 0 0.1 second this this problem is very interesting and important problem please okay please uh, take it serious and understand very carefully these are the two times we are getting right this is what the actual punching this is what the uh, total cycle time punching from this I will get the punch time is 0.1 second right now the given is see the whole punch means this much is the diameter the diameter is also given we will see how much the they are given the diameter see we have given the dia of the whole you know, of punch is 5 and sheet thickness is 5 mm right means this is dia and sheet thickness this is what the sheet thickness sheet thickness is 5 mm and the dia of this is 10 mm dia diameter is 10 ok uh, now the sheared area for one hole that is also given sheared area sheared area for one hole it's not given from this we will calculate this how we will calculate this sheared area right the diameter is pi r square means pi into 5 square into this thickness that is 5 right uh, uh, no it, here see one more thing we are doing it here mistake it is 2 pi r right means pi d here only we have to take a circumference this is what the shear area the, we not this we are not interested about this area right with the in where the shearing is taking place the punching is taking place at this place right so we have to take pi d into this thickness right mean this is what the shear area for one hole pi into 10 into 5 okay you understood this now one more thing is given that is energy 
energy required to shear one hole required to shear one hole how much energy this is also given in the problem see the energy required to shear one hole where is that is that uh, somewhere it is given yes here it is given see this is what the energy is 7 7 newton meter right in, uh, this is what the in a newton meter per millimeter square this is what the given okay it is 7 newton newton meter per millimeter square okay this is what the energy given now energy required to shear to punch a hole how much this is for one hole they have given the energy right energy required to shear one hole now see the energy required to shear to punch a hole how much energy it is required See from this what you will get that is 50 pi right sheared area for one hole this is what the area right so here the area it is in millimeter square right from this energy energy required to see uh, to punch one hole how much energy we required we have to just multiply this 7 into this is for one uh, this is for one hole this energy is required right uh, one hole per per millimeter square this is given but here the shared area how much it is coming for one hole it is 15 so i have to multiply this with 50 pi means here 350 pi newton meter is the energy required for the whole of diameter 10 millimeter okay you understood this now <coughs> now see from the, this is what the now we got the energy this is what the energy required that is 3 pi right that is newton meter in joule right this much energy we required now see we have to we have to install the motor right right now now engineers work started right from here this from the energy got right this from the energy energy required for to punch one hole that we got once we got that now engineers work started engineers work will start work will start right how the work will start he see he have to go for which motor he has to install right you have to go the energy once you know the energy then the power right means which motor we have to install motor to be installed that motor to be installed right which motor and the power of this motor you should know now okay the design engineer works now starts now you know for the 5 seconds means it is a one cycle right for the 5 seconds this much energy is required that is 350 pi right for now for one second how much energy required i will calculate that is for one second it is 350 by 5 right 350 pi by 5 means how much it is coming that is 70 pi for newton meter per second right this is what the energy newton meter per second means joule per second means it is a watt right where means the power is equal to uh, power is equal to 70 70 pi watt okay means it how much it comes okay you will keep it as 70 watt 70 pi watt only okay this much power we required right now the next thing see once you take the motor of that this much right this is what the power of the motor okay motor this this much watt motor we have to install for the operation of this punching then the once you install the motor <coughs> see we will understand why the flywheel is need here okay see the installing 
this is what the motor we have to install why the flywheel is needed we will understand this why we need we need flywheel here see this much the cutting this is cutting start this much is the stroke length of that punching operation okay and this only just 5 mm is the punching operation this thing also given right uh, see the sheet thickness is 5 mm means the only the punching operation will take place for 5 mm only right the punching operation <coughs> right but the cycle time is our it is it is a 5 second time cycle time okay for this 5 mm the time required is 0 0.15 second 0.1 or 0.15 second how much the actual time we have calculated yes point it is a point 0.1 it is point 0.1 second not 15 point 0.1 second point 0.1 second okay now the work see <coughs> the energy required during actual punching is energy energy required energy required q i r e d energy required during during punching is 350 pi newton meter this much is energy required and time time for actual punching actual punching is if you are not understood you watch this two to three times but don't miss this lecture this is a very important lecture okay because you will understood everything the concept of the energy how it is using in the flywheel and how we are designing the flywheel for any punch machine that thing you will understand from this problem okay time for the actual is actual punching this is what the time that is 0.1 second okay <coughs> uh, it is not uh, let me check it whether it is 0.1 or 0.15 uh, the point uh, yeah this is what the actual time that right? 0.1 second is right okay see the uh, uh, here what i have to understand the actual process of the design i need to understand you no need that much this term whether it is 1.5 or 0 0.15 okay you don't worry uh, about that much the, but the, the process how to find out that that's that is the main thing you should understand okay <coughs> now see the energy supplied by motor during the actual punching how much you will see this energy energy supplied by motor supplied by motor during actual punching actual punching that is I'll yes that is the energy supply that is 70 pi okay 70 pi what is this 70 pi is uh, this is power into that point 1 right here see the actual time is this much right means I equate it to 70 pi into point 1 means the 7 pi I am getting okay it is in newton meter okay now i'll move on to the next page now i'll find out the difference energy maximum this is what the energy maximum difference is equal to 350 pi three fifty pi minus seven pi right means it is three forty three pi Newton meter right this energy has to supplied by the flywheel right see this is what the energy the flywheel has to supply this energy has 
to supply by flywheel okay now we will we, the given is that the rpm is also given i think uh, yes the rpm c uh, at the fluctuation while uh, flywheel reduces from one that is n1 is max to that is this is n1 and this is n2 right this is given n1 is equal to 120 rpm and n2 is equal to 100 rpm right this is what the fluctuation in between this has to occur occur right from this n1 i will find out omega 1 I already calculated this that is 12.56 and how to calculate this omega also I have told you in the last classes this is what we are doing and from this n2 we will directly get omega 2 the omega 2 is 10.47 radian per second ok now you know uh, this is what the energy has to supply by the flywheel then what I will uh, the uh, the energy equation that is the fundamental derivation equation derivation expression for the energy of the flywheel is delta E is equal to half I omega 1 square plus minus half I omega 2 square ok this see here all the concept are applying this is how we are designing the flywheel ok the energy this this energy the flywheel has to supply we already calculated right see the 350 what we have calculated this is what the energy maximum energy okay that the motor can gives right and this is what the minimum energy which can gives right let me check uh, see the 7 newton meter this is the actual punching time the energy supplied the only energy supplied is 7 pi okay by the motor during the actual time and 350 is energy required this is what the energy required to us right 350 is energy required to us while punching how this we have calculated 350 we, we have to again go back see here the 5 seconds 350 energy pi energy is required ok and now we will put this values of omega right and e what is the e e is 4 343 pi 343 pi is equal to half i ok and omega 1 square is 12.566 square minus omega 2 the value of the omega 2 is that is 10.47 square right so from this we will get the value of the i i have calculated this value of i, I see here the i is also we know i we cannot calculate because i is also you know <coughs> that is for the flywheel is disc it is i will take it as mr square by 2 right for the disc i consider the value of mr square <coughs> mr square by 2 and now I will equate this I equation 1 and this equation 2 from this what I will find I will calculate this value of M how much the mass we required for that flywheel ok let me add one slide here the mass of the flywheel is required I will calculate it it is 178.46 kg mass of the flywheel is required this is how the flywheels are designed ok uh, 170 yes it is 178.46 kg now see one question will come in your mind this is how now we are calculating the, this is this much mass of the flywheel is required right uh, one question comes in our mind you installing the flywheel of this much heavy weight right this much heavy weight this much heavy weight of flywheel you in 
installing but but one question can you come in mind but without flywheel can we work we will see that also without flywheel without flywheel work can be done work can be done see uh, for that then what we have to do no uh, we know the energy uh, uh, the uh, the energy which supplied right the e es we know that is 355 pi newton meter right and uh, you know for 1.1 second this much 350 energy you have to supply right newton meter then for uh, then for uh, for, for, for 0.1 second, three, uh, 350 Newton, uh, 355, for 1 second, how much you have to supply? That is, you have to multiply this by 10, right? Uh, uh, divided by this 0.1 means it is a 355 pi Newton meter energy you have to supply, right? Means, see, uh, you will require power is equal to 350, for this case, 355 watt power is required, right? See, this much power how much electricity this much power motor if you install then in the industry this will consume lot of electricity right so without flywheel it cannot work so flywheel is must it is necessary right so that is how this flywheel concepts I try to explain you in a better manner okay uh, <coughs> okay means the flywheel is must flywheel is must in order to consume less electricity flywheel is must okay guys i try to explain you in the best manner okay you i request you if you not understood you watch this lecture once more okay and in the next class with this we will end this class and in the tomorrow's session we will see uh, the design of the flywheel uh, up till now we have seen the flywheel we will see that the flywheel rim how to design that there are certain expression involved in that how to design of that we will see in the next class and this is maybe the last class of this flywheel okay we will once we complete this we will move on to the governor topic or we will see the, whether there is a problem or else we will start the new topic that is the governor okay design of governor okay guys thank you please before going please like hit the like button share with your friends don't forget to comment if you see when if you have any doubts please put in a comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching